All right, everyone. Welcome back to Random Fixes. So there are a large number of houses and apartments in the U.S. that are equipped with cheap old thermostat that does not have the capability of scheduling temperature profiles or on-off status. You may want to save a few bucks by turning your AC or heat off before you leave your apartment, but you're leaving in such a hurry and you constantly forgot to turn that off. So swapping the old thermostat with a new smart one like the Nest could be a great choice, but if you're renting an apartment or your current thermostat wiring is simply not compatible with the new one, you're kind of stuck to it. And the new one typically costs more than 150 bucks, which is kind of expensive. But admittedly, they have the great features like learning your daily activities, but I'm perfectly happy with a cheap attachment that can save me a few bucks from energy bill. So today, I'm designing an attachment for my thermostat so I can convert this old dumb thermostat to this smart thermostat that can be controlled over Amazon Echo. So let's get started. Speaking of the materials and tools that are needed for this project, I think the 3D printer would be the most expensive one. But if you already own one, the cost for the entire project is less than 30 bucks. So to begin with, we will need three SG90 servos, one for temperature level control, one for the fan switch and another one for the heat and AC status control. The other electronics that we'll need is the ESP32 and also known as Node MCU. So next, we need a couple of these tiny screws. So they are M2 self-tapping screws for the servo mounting. And these three are number four sheet metal screws to secure this shield for the Node MCU to the main mount. So next, there are some bars for the four bar linkage system that will be used to manipulate the different levers and switches through these three servos. And those two black pieces are the side switch extensions or switch caps that just clip onto the switches to make the four bar linkage system more reliable. And this big red piece is the housing for every component that we just uh, talked about. And those three female to male cables will be used for sending position signals to the servos. And those two splitting wires will be used for power and ground for all servos. And of course, you need a screwdriver. And before I move on to the next part, all the plastic parts, including the link here and the arms attached to the servo are custom made and 3D printed. Although there are some plastic arms that come with the servos, they're not ideal for this project. So to develop the housing in the correct dimensions, I need the geometric data for the thermostat. I went to the Lux website and as expected, they do not provide the 3D CAD file for downloading. So I took out my caliper and get some measurement and drew a rough sketch. So after about an hour, I obtained a rough dimension of the thermostat and I also went through some calculations to get the estimated center of rotation for the temperature lever and switches. Then I created a mock-up thermostat for design and verification. And I also catted the servos, the servo arms, the linkages, and the housing and assembled them together to make sure that my 3D printed version of my design will at least work close enough to my intention. So stepping to the coding part, the process actually is easier than I anticipated. Pretty much like an Arduino, you can program the ESP32 in an Arduino IDE with a few extensions added. And the syntax for it is almost the same, except there are a few differences in how to send the time pulse signals to the servos. And there already exists a library that lets you emulate the Philips Hue light for ESP32. So from that library, I can use the light intensity from Alexa command, which is a unsigned integer from 0 to 255, and convert to the time pulse signal for angle positioning for the servo motors. I already uploaded my code to GitHub and you can check it out in the video description in the link down below. If you're also interested in the mechatronics principles in the code, leave a comment down below and I will do a video about that later. Also, if you're interested in the development process of my project, also make sure you follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my channel. So with the design for both the software and hardware done, let's put the thing onto my thermostat and give it a try. I'm glad that the hardware actually fits the thermostat well and the four bar linkages for all the levers and switcher controls works perfectly. And it's also straightforward to wire all these three servos. 
First, I connect all of those ground pins, which are the brown wires and the three pin connector for the servo together with the brown supplating wire. And the power pins, which are the middle one of the three to another split wire that I made earlier. Then find three wires with different colors as the signal wires for the servo. So the red power line for the servo will be connected to the 5 volt power supply and the ground wire just go to ground. Depends on your code configuration, three signal wires will be connected to different PWM pins, but in my case, the temperature control signal will come from pin 13, and fan control comes from pin 12, and heat and AC control will go to pin 14. And with everything being connected, we can put the node MCU behind the shield and screw those screws. And finally, we just need to supply a 5 volt power into the system through a micro USB cable. Now here are a few demonstration clips showing the device working with Alexa at home and when I was driving. Alexa, set the temperature to 60. Okay. Alexa, set the temperature to 75. Okay. Alexa, turn off fan. Okay. Alexa, turn fan on. Okay. Alexa, turn heat off. Okay. Alexa, turn heat to 50%. Alright, that's it for this video for this project. Now because the ESP32 has many more functions that have not been used, I'll probably add a few other functions to my attachment in the future, such as automatic AC and heat shutoff when it detects no one present in the room, or scheduling a temperature profile throughout the day. I hope you find this video interesting and you learned something from this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and also consider sharing and subscribing. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.